Hey, what is up, guys? Skullified here, and welcome back to Borto, episode 162. Um, last episode was pretty good. Um, we left off in the castle. Uh, Leaf Village, aka Borto, right now, is getting framed for a double homicide murder um, of the butler and the queen, even though it was the quintuplets. I think that's right. Um, who did it? Because they're assholes and have four different shades of purple hair. Um, yeah, so, now they're surrounded by literally everyone. Sarda and the other Joni, and I don't think, have any idea what the fuck is happening. But the only way to find out what the fuck is happening is by watching the video. And, before that, if that subscribe button down there is still red, click it, because it should be gray. And hit the like button while you're down there. Helps me out a lot. Thanks, guys. Alright, episode starting. Um, another thing I like about the past few episodes is the intro has just been playing right at the beginning so we're not getting into like half the episode and then the intro plays it's just been starting the, the episodes which is actually like really nice yeah you kind of do need that oh everyone's just coming in that's what she said oh wait what the fuck wait all these people just have kunai just laying around what the fuck I want Konohamaru to summon a fucking gigantic frog or toad. I don't think we've seen him use that since like the f one of the first episodes of Boruto. Yeah, because they can't risk hurting them or else that'll hurt their reputation even further. Yeah, I was gonna say, a lot of them have like kunai and look like they have ninja training. Another thing, yeah. But that other, um... Researcher guy? He sent, like, a main assassin after them, right? Hmm. It looks like you're barely outside of it. Wait, did one of the quintuplets die? Wait, I'm so confused. Did one of the quintuplets die? Did we see that on screen? Am I just stupid? Probably. Don't answer that. That's disgusting. <laughs> He's gonna throw him in. Yeah. That's disgusting. They're gonna walk through the sewage. That's disgusting. No, he isn't. He's probably just got every kind of infection in the world. Pro no, probably not. So I'm expecting something unexpected to happen, is what I'm getting from that. No. Right? Wait, what? Huh. Is this gonna be an episode about just trying to fucking... Uh, that's gonna be annoying if it's just an episode about trying to get the stench off Boruto. Hmm. They just run straight through. Wouldn't up going up be better? Oh god. The two... The two big guys, though, got shit on by Boruto. Konohamaru should be fine. Oh. Okay, or Sarda can just come in here. Nope, Sakura's strength comes in handy. So let's jump to the fucking rooftop behind you. Um. What? He 
he just took the blimp. What is this, a fucking exfil mission? Like, Christ. Okay. We commandeered an unnamed docked ship. Jesus Christ. It's fucking a huge blimp. I like how the rudder, you need to use chalker to control it. Oh god. Are people fucking attacking the blimp? So why are you heading down? The fuck is that? They have heat seeking kunai paper bombs now? What in the hell? They really just aren't catching a break, huh? Oh Christ. Oh God. If they destroy buildings, they definitely are gonna be in trouble. I wouldn't quite say this is a successful mission. Seems very the opposite. Oh. How are they already surrounded again? All right, time to fuck up all these people. Boruto needs to use his eye and Sarada just needs to use her Sharingan. Then some more stand guns and then whatever the other guy can do. Oh, the kid they helped earlier. Hmm. So that is, he is coming into play here. Nice. That's cool. Damn, they really just, all those people just got played by a, like, six-year-old kid. Oh. <gasps> Mitsuki! Hey! Wait, how the fuck did Mitsuki get here? Oh, okay. Oh, are they siblings? The girl at the hospital is a sibling, right? To the brother? Or that boy? Probably? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. The fuck, Mitsuki? <laughs> I thought he was going to fucking kiss him. I was so confused. Oh, they needed to do something to open the door, right? So did one of the brothers, like, die to open the door? Or, like, get past the barrier, whatever, so that the other three could get in? That's probably what happened, I'm assuming. At least they have the poison, kunai. I? I don't know why they would poison the kunai when they, could, when they were already stabbing her in the back. Like, she was gonna die regardless. Is there like a kid next door network? There's no way there's just like a kid network. What the fuck? Oh? Dude's just like leading his own fucking kid army. Facts, like what? What? Okay. Convenient much? Hmm. Oh, who the fuck is this? They're eating a steak. They're, they're, yup. If you're eating, if you're eating a steak in a show, what, what any type of show, you're, you're, something that's not. Oh, and he, and he dissed the steak. Okay, this is bad. This is very bad. And he's the best at darts ever with knives.
so okay. Maybe your food didn't taste good because you fucking killed the cook. Oh shit, okay. So the three of them? Okay, interesting. Uh, okay. Those look like Cloud Ninja. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Cloud Ninja, like by the outfit, right? Oh, we're getting a cliffhanger. Okay, well, that set up nicely for next episode for a nice little fight probably to start. Or it could be a cop-out. Not really a cop-out, but like they could just be faking us out. Oh, well, they did attack them, so maybe we get a fight. Um, episode started off slow because I thought it was... I was getting hesitant because I thought it was just going to be an entire episode of um, Boruto and the other Jonin there just going back and forth doing different methods of um trying to get like the perfume sent off him i'm very glad they didn't stick with that and they actually continued the story um they fucking crashed a blimp though so if they don't get in some sort of trouble at some point when they return i will be very surprised i feel like naruto is gonna fucking whoop konohama and ruin boruto's ass Sour and me too will probably get off like fine, but Boruto and fucking Konohamaru don't get like slapped around by Naruto at the when they get back. <sighs> God. Um. What else happened? Oh, that fucking guy, the scientific, not scientific ninja guy, but like the um doctor there with the peg leg, peg leg, Captain Peg leg, um, the assassin he sent out. Literally just wiped an entire diner for no reason whatsoever. Like, that shit was kind of... Like, that shit was dope, like, the reveal. But, like, once I saw that steak, I already knew it was over. Like, you can't eat a steak in a show and be a good person. Like, it just... They, the two just don't go together. Like, you can't, like, be eating a steak and then, like, be saving the world. You either eat a steak and kill everyone, or, like, you don't eat anything in the show... And then you're, you can be good, I guess. I don't know. Just stakes and good guys do not go well together in shows. Anyway, um, if you like my reaction to episode 162 of Boruto, um, we're getting close to the bada boop ba catching up with Boruto. And once we catch up with Boruto, we'll just probably do an episode every Sunday, I think, because I think that's when the episodes come out. We'll just keep up for that. But for now, we are doing... Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for every Boruto episode until we catch up. And yeah, it's a lot of, um, editing these is a lot more work than any of the other shows I've had to react to, just because it's anime and that shit's hard as fuck to get around. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, make sure, if you guys didn't earlier, hit the subscribe button, turn it gray, keep it gray forever. Hit the like button while you're down there really nice it feels really good to press it you should we really should but yeah thank you guys so much peace